volunteered to plow the neighbor's garden for her. We have a sweet elderly neighbor and she's just precious to us. And unfortunately, as he was trying to get the tractor started, he was having a lot of trouble and he thought it was battery issue. He worked on that. And now we think it's the starter because it won't even start. So she got her son to come over to mow the lawn and he was able to get her tractor started. So he switched to her tractor and our plow and he is over here tilling her garden and he hasn't even had breakfast. So I'm bringing him a little breakfast treat, bacon and egg sandwich and some coffee. done a good job. He tilled it all and now he's scraping it with the box blade to make it smooth so it'll be easy for Miss Elsie to plant her garden. And she is so sweet she's gonna let us use this section for some of our corn and okra and maybe a few other things that we don't have the space for up in our smaller raised bed garden. It's great to have great neighbors. It really is. And to have great neighbors, you gotta be a great neighbor, and Ryan is definitely exemplifying that. Yeehaw! Wash your hands. Okay. You sure you don't want a pat on the back? Ew. <laughs> ew, ew, ew. Well, I made it a little bit soapy, so. I might have to use some, dare I say, Dawn. <laughs> you gross. You filthy boy. I should have brought more than one paper towel. Yeah, can I dry it on your shirt? No. Okay. That's fine. Uh, you just need to be able to drink your water. I just yeah. didn't want you to contaminate it. Wow, what a what a treat getting to drive this old tractor from the neighbors. Uh, it, our tractor kept giving problem after problem after problem. It's like the universe was pointing signs to try to drive this tractor and use all of our cool implements on it. So we got this, the neighbor's field, got it disc harrowed up and she asked that I use my blade and try to flatten it out a little bit so she can make better rows. Um, 
wow, nice day and just a really fun job to do. Thank you for the water. You gotta stay hydrated. I know, I should have been drinking water all day, but. They don't really have a cup holder on these. No, I guess that's how they did it back in the day too. Just have somebody kind come bring them some water to drink in the middle of work. Aww. conference with Miss Elsie found out where we can put our stuff in Ryan's gonna dig a couple of rows for potatoes um, we got some more sweet potatoes from the food bank compost so we're gonna throw those in the ground and let them either compost or grow there and then I'm gonna do some corn and okra but I've got to rake some of the debris out of my way first there's some rocks and stuff so Wish me luck. This is going to be a day of planting. Because I have so many different types of corn, I'm going to plant all my sweet corn in the same area so if they cross pollinate, no big deal. First two rows are peaches and cream. And I am going to interseed with some peanuts. They might not be good seed anymore, so if they don't come up, I won't be surprised. But if they do, it'll be a wonderful surprise. What you got going on? I started to make a row and I saw that I was not staying straight, so I'm making a string to guide me. So that my corn rows will be nice and straight and pretty when they grow. Oh nice. That'll look really awesome right next to the sweet potato row. And you're gonna do that, right? Yep. Yes. You wanna put some peanuts down in between my corn? No, you just wanna hug me. Oh boy. <laughs> I am very sweaty. Hot out here. <laughs> I see it feels like it just is slobbered on. Slobber and sweat. Hold on. This is why you should put on shoes before traveling the world. Alright. So, using the tractor was a favor for our neighbor so we can get her garden area plowed up and ready for her. And she has given us permission to use quite a decent portion of this field. You can see them in the background working and we're gonna plant on this end sweet potatoes and corn that I know of and possibly some okra and other stuff too but we'll get, get to that point in a moment. Plant them all, baby. Plant them all. It's about by spacing, just from one distance of tossing. I think maybe I need to change professions. Something. Next two rows are going to be Silver Queen. These came from my friend Paige. And Paige, you better come and eat some of this sweet corn with us this summer. We would love that. Got one, two, three, four. 
four rows of peanuts and corn and one, two, three more rows of corn. So that's the sweet corn. Miss Elsie was nice enough to put this white string to deter the crows, an old time trick of hers. And then I have three rows of Clemson spineless and two rows of different colored okras. So I gotta bury all these seeds. Ryan already buried all the sweet potatoes. It's a lot done in one day. The okra is covered with compost. Now I'm just going to rake some native soil over these corn seed. We're expecting a lot of rain in the next couple of days. It's not going to be a heavy rain per se. So I think that'll be just enough to water them in and then we can cover them over again with some compost. So they'll still get the benefits of the compost. We got a lot done today. And I'm really excited to be able to use this space. It's a very, very wonderful blessing to be given such a great neighbor. And I'm glad that we have this opportunity. There's so much more we can grow in this bigger space. So once we're done planting this area and the same width in front of me, then on the other side of that trench, we're gonna plant all corn. So we're gonna have some popcorn, some dent corn, some field corn, uh, maybe some sunflowers. Black oil sunflower seeds are something that the animals love and they've gotten really expensive. But if you take a bag of it from the feed store and spread it out, it'll grow. And you can grow more of it than you would be able to buy more of it for the same amount of price. And we love budget gardening. Well. Did you think when you got up this morning that we'd have a whole extra farm plowed up and get, got ready and planted in one day? No, <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> yeah, it's been a lot of hard work today. Very rewarding. Yeah, it was nice being out here with Miss Elsie. I liked it. Yeah. It was nice having somebody to talk to while I'm gardening. And she was planting her stuff and giving me tips and hints on how to do it the right way. You know, I, I, I thought when I got started this morning and the tractor wasn't cooperating, I, I didn't know this was gonna happen either. And uh, getting that classic tractor up and running and putting it to use was, that was a lot of fun for the first part of the day. Yeah, I think you that, looked like you were having fun. Yeah, it was, that was a blast. And it was a, a lot of fun chucking taters, I gotta say. <laughs> I, I filled those three trenches from that one spot. Uh, that was a lot of fun. That, that looked like fun. I think we're gonna have more sweet potatoes than we could ever imagine. So if anybody's local and you want sweet potatoes when it comes time to harvest, please reach out to us. <laughs> <laughs> we're not gonna know what to do with them all. We'll take them to the market or feed them to pigs or yep. something. We'll figure out something, I'm sure. Yeah, no, no waste here. All right, well, I guess that do, that's a day for us. Yeah, I'm tired. Yeah. All right, well, thanks for watching. You know the drill. <laughs> thanks for watching Wholesome Roots. We'll see you next time.